Your merciful love, O oh God, we have received in the midst of your temple. Your praise, O oh God, like your name, reaches the ends of the earth. Your right hand is filled with saving justice. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Jesus once again sends his disciples out to begin a ministry. We have begun our ministries, and it's for us to try always at all times to bring Jesus into the lives of others. Let us pray that we can do this and ask his forgiveness for those times we fail. Lord Jesus, you are the light of the world. Lord, have mercy. Lord, you strengthen us through the faith that you've given us, Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us the hope and the love of being with you one day. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy. For on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. Judah went up to Joseph and said, May it please my Lord, let your servant have a word privately with my Lord. Do not be angry with your servant, for you are like Pharaoh himself. My Lord questioned his servants, Have you father or brother? And we said to my Lord, we have an older father and a younger brother born of his old age. His brother is dead, so he is the only one left of his mother, and his father loves him. Then you said to your servants, Bring him down to me, that my eyes may look on him. If your youngest brother does not come down with you, you will not be admitted to my presence again. When we went back to your servant, my father, we repeated to him what my Lord had said. So when our father said, go back and buy, and buy us a little food, we said, we cannot go down. If our youngest brother is not with us, we will, we will go down. If our youngest brother is with us, we will go down. But we cannot be admitted to the man's presence unless our youngest brother is with us. So your servant, our father, said to us, You know that my wife bore me two children. When one left me, I said that he must have been torn to pieces. And I have not seen him to this day. If you take this one from me too, and any harm comes to him, you will send me down to Shul with my white head bowed in misery. Then Joseph could not control his feelings in front of all his retainers, and he exclaimed, Let everyone leave me. No one therefore was present with him while Joseph made himself known to his brothers. But he wept so loudly that all the Egyptians heard and the news reached Pharaoh's palace. Joseph said to his brothers, I am Joseph. Is my father really still alive? His brothers could not answer him. They were so dismayed at the sight of him. Then Joseph said to his brothers, Come closer to me. 
When they had come closer to him, he said, I am your brother Joseph, whom you sold into Egypt. But now do not grieve. Do not reproach yourselves for having sold me here, since God sent me before you to preserve your lives. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remember the wonders the Lord has done. Remember the wonders the Lord has done. The Lord called down a famine on the land. He broke the staff that supported them. He had sent a man before them, Joseph, sold as a slave. Remember the wonders the Lord has done. His feet were put in chains. His neck was bound with iron. Until what he said came to pass, and the Lord's word proved him true. His word is done. Then the king sent and released him. The ruler of the peoples set him free, making him master of his house and ruler of all he possessed. Remember, Remember the wonders, wonders the, Lord the Lord has done. done. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Had not your hearts today, but listen to the voice of the Lord. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus instructed the twelve as follows. As you go, proclaim that the kingdom of heaven is close at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, cast out devils. You received without charge. Give without charge. Provide yourselves with no gold or silver, not even a few coppers for your purses, with no haversack for the journey, or spare tunic or footwear or a staff, for the workman deserves his keep. Whatever town or village you go into, ask for someone trustworthy and stay with him until you leave. As you enter his house, salute it, and if the house deserves it, let your peace descend upon it. If it does not, let your peace come back to you. And if anyone does not welcome you or listen to what you have to say, as you walk out of the house or town, shake the dust from your feet. I tell you solemnly, on the day of judgment, it will not go as hard with the land of Sodom and Gomorrah as with that town. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> Jesus has given strict instructions to his disciples of how they should go and spread the good news. He tells them to cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, cast out devils. But don't be charging them. Don't even take gold or silver with you. 
Not even a few coppers, he tells them. And no haversack for the journey. Or spare tunic, or footwear, or a staff. Something many of us would not be able to do. We couldn't do without all these things we'd be saying to ourselves. But Jesus also reminds them that the workman deserves his keep. And it's for the people to listen to what is being said and what is being and to see what is being done. And that they do their best to try to follow the example that Jesus has given to his disciples. And in so doing, then we too will deserve what we receive. Over the centuries of the church, many, many men and women have done exactly what Jesus is telling them. Francis of Assisi, he spent and once he realized how he should live his life, he changed completely from being a man with everything and doing exactly what he liked to becoming what we would call a missionary. And he went to other places, even to the Arab countries, with nothing. He survived because he had Jesus with him. And as we know, he did a tremendous job. So much so that there are Franciscans all over the world today, many trying to follow St. Francis' example. We pray for people like this. We pray for our leaders. And ask the Lord to help them. I was reading a little bit of something about Pope Francis when he was appointed Pope. A lady reporter wrote in the newspaper, he has left... Argentina with just mud on his feet. He went and came to Rome to do what the Lord had asked him to do. And we pray that each and every one of us will try to always to put the Lord first and not the luxurious belongings we may have but to put Jesus first in our lives and to do what we can in spreading the same good news that more and more people will listen and will join the family of Jesus So let us stand, please. The power of forgiving is the sign of God's presence among us. Jesus, the fulfillment of all the Old Testament figures, lived healing and forgiveness. So in that spirit, let us pray. Let us pray first for the repose of the soul of George Kulas, whose anniversary it is today and for whom the Mass is being offered for. Lord, in your mercy. Let us pray too for all the migrants. Pray especially for those that die 
in the boats that they try to escape from the many countries that they're escaping from. As we know, last week or the week before it was, over 600 people died trying to escape. Not just 600 in one go, but many more have died since. We pray for them all, pray for their families at the loss of loved ones. Lord, in your mercy. We pray that our local communities may overcome the sickness of prejudice and try to be generous to all around them. Lord, in your mercy. The Christians may acknowledge past failings and all work together to build the kingdom. Let us pray that we do our best to build the love of Christ around us. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for our young people, many of whom are awaiting the results of their examinations. We pray that they will be successful. We have one student here who was very successful and received his degree. We pray in thanksgiving for that and hope and pray that all our young people will achieve the results they need. Lord, in your mercy. Let us pray for the sick in the parish and those who are, not, who are really unwell, who are dying, that we may sh show how much Christ loves them. Lord, in your mercy. We ask Mary to join with us as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Father, make us one with you always, so that our joy may be holy, and our love may give life to all whom we meet. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Bless the Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread. We offer you fruit to the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Bless you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit to the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash us, O Lord, from our iniquity, cleanse us all of our sins. My friends, pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. 
May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands and he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim, Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Alan, our Bishop, our clergy, and all our people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed Apostles, St. Michael, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you, through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours for ever and ever. <coughs>
At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. An act of spiritual communion for those who have joined us online. Lord Jesus, we believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. We love you above all things and we desire to receive into our souls. Since we cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into our hearts. We embrace you as you've already there and unite ourselves wholly to you. Never permit us to be separated from you. Amen. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Bless the man who seeks refuge in him.
Let us pray. <clears throat> Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth in the peace and the love of Christ. We thank you all very much and to have a nice day and we hope some of you can stay behind and help to give the church a bit of a clean. Thank you. <clears throat>